What's going on guys? Zuko back with another Dragonflight video. I hope you are all doing very well. We're going to keep going with the 10.2 tier set coverage. We're going to do Feral Druid. This is one of the new, I think this is one of the new Feral skins. I don't know. I didn't, I couldn't find like a quest to go get the new Feral stuff. So I don't think this is new, but it's cool looking. And um, yeah, we're going to look at the Feral Druid tier set bonus. And I want to emphasize as we look at this to not think so much about the damage but just to think about how does it function? Does it work with Feral Druid? Does it feel good? All that kind of stuff. Because my item level on this guy is like horrible. I try to pick up some gear. I have the new tier pieces, of course, which are really high item level, but I have a lot of like lower pieces on this guy. I did pick up a weapon, a couple of trinkets that are high item level, but like, let's just don't focus so much on the damage. Just try to focus on the functionality of the tier set bonus. Before we jump into that though, Let's look at the class changes if there was any, oops, not that one. If there's any class changes that came in. Get over here, here it is. Move this over here. So I don't, uh, let me just look at this really quick. There isn't really anything crazy except for the Apex Predator stuff. So this is the talent that you take that gives your dots a chance to proc a free Ferocious Bite. Essentially they made it so that the chance to trigger this free Ferocious Bite is now lower if you get tons of enemies. So if you have like, beyond four targets the chance to trigger apex goes down so if you're doing a gigantic pull with like eight to ten to twelve mobs the chance like apex's chance to proc is, is going to go down quite a bit and they're basically just trying to say like this used to scale right now this scales with the number of enemies that you're fighting if you're fighting 10 to 12 guys the apex proc is happening like literally every two or three seconds it's crazy how much damage you get out of ferocious bite um so they're just lowering that. If you're around four targets, it's literally the same as it is now. Um, and now, if you are on a low number of targets, it actually goes up. So the chance to trigger is increased against a low number of targets. So if you're on a single target boss, your chance to trigger now goes up, which is great. That's a great quality of life. So they've kind of done a balance pass to say, hey, if you're in like a really high amount of AOE, chance to trigger goes down if you're on a single target boss fight the chance to trigger goes up that's what we really needed for single target in my opinion so great change i think cat's curiosity gets replaced with a new talent called saber jaws when you spend extra energy on ferocious bite the extra damage is increased by 80 percent i don't think that you're going to necessarily take this because nobody takes cat's curiosity anyway we'll have to see if this is worth taking in single target if it's like really worth it to get the extra ferocious bite damage ferocious bite um spends extra energy if you have it but it also spends extra energy if you get an apex proc so for example apex predator um has a chance to make ferocious by free and deal the maximum damage so that means it's consuming extra energy to deal extra damage now you might combo that with saber jaws in a single target build where Again, you, you maybe you have some extra points you can shuffle around and put it into here so that it's doing that extra damage. Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see kind of what the talent guys think about it. Finally, Ashbane's Guidance, which is the talent below Convoke slash Ashbane's or um, Incarn. It's been redesigned during Incarn and for 30 seconds after it ends, Rip and Rake cause each affected enemy to take 3% increased damage from your abilities. So if you're taking Incarn... And you're also going to take Ash Mains, which most people didn't do. But if you do that now, you get 3% more damage, which isn't terrible. On AoE, I think it's actually particularly good. But we're going to get into the tier set bonus now. Those are all the changes for Feral. Let's get into the tier set bonus. And I think there's a there's a reason why you might want to take Convoke instead of Incarn now. We'll see. It, might, it still might not be worth it. <clears throat> but let's take a look at the tier set bonus. Feral Frenzy grants Smoldering Frenzy. Increasing all damage you deal by 20%. All damage, including your AoE damage, everything else, okay? Feral Frenzy's cooldown is reduced by 15 seconds. During Smoldering Frenzy, enemies burn for 10% of the damage that you deal as fire. This is really interesting. So, here's an example of an AoE pack that I was just hitting. Rip, Rake, and I, I'm doing a swipe base build to get to that in a second. Ferocious Bite, Tear Up Wounds. There's the Burning Frenzy dot. This is that extra 10% of the damage that you deal gets turned into this fire damage. That's a lot of damage. 7.1% of my damage in an AoE situation is just coming off of the extra burn from the tier set. On top of that, 
everything else that I'm doing is 20% stronger during that Feral Frenzy window. This is really cool. So you're going to have to take Feral Frenzy in order for this build to work. And you're going to want to press it in AoE. You want to prioritize pressing this button. So instead of a 45 second cooldown, it's now a 30 second cooldown. And it gives you this huge damage amp. During the damage amp window, you're dealing additional fire damage. 10% of the damage you deal gets turned into fire. So it's really good. I think it's really, really good. Um, this is one of the better tier sets that I think I've seen so far. And I think you can run any build that you want to run with it. I'm running a really cheeky like um, um, build with Thrashing Claws where you get swipe, or uh, sorry, you get Thrash for free. I don't know if you guys have seen this. I covered this a long time ago, but I think it's kind of a fun build to mess around with. And then I'm taking Convoke. One interesting thing about this is that Convoke can proc Feral Frenzy. And it will also give you the buff, the smoldering buff, the 20% damage buff, all of that. If you get a Feral Frenzy off of Convoke, then you get that extra buff. So I think if this is strong enough, if people consider this to be strong enough, then you might want to take Convoke now. And you might want the one minute Convoke. So you're going to have to take the Ashman's Guidance so that you're getting that extra proc of Feral Frenzy. You're not guaranteed to get the proc, which is a bit of, a, a bit of an issue. But if you do get it, it's insane because you get that extra damage amp. So let's try it right here. I'll just show you what the AoE damage kind of looks like. We'll start with an Invis um, Rake. And then we're going to pop like Berserk and do a Feral Frenzy, get the buff going. And then we're going to try and fit a Convoke inside the new Feral Frenzy buff window that we're getting. Because... Convoke does a lot of like ferocious bites for free. They're all going to be 20% stronger with the with this tier set bonus. So here we go. We're going to go like this. And then we'll... Oops. I already messed it up. That's okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. Free ferocious bite. I'm going to swipe. Do this. Then I'm going to Convoke right now. We did not... Get, oh, we got another Feral Frenzy. There it is. Smoldering Frenzy is going again. So that's a second Feral Frenzy. Which is awesome. You can see my damage right now. About 240k, 250k if I was uh, at the, the peak there. Again, please don't think about just the damage. It's about the functionality. Which again, look at my um, Feral Frenzy's back again. There's my third Feral Frenzy. And we're back into our just regular rotation. Adding some dots here and there. Primal Wrathing. And I'm swiping a lot because I have that swipe build that adds Thrash all by itself. I don't even have to try. We're basically staying at 200k. My item level right now is 436. It's terrible. So just again, remember, here comes my Feral Frenzy again. It's a 30 second cooldown. It really does help improve the functionality of all builds for Feral Druid. And I'm going to Convoke inside my Feral. I got the window going right now. Three seconds on it. Convoking now. And I got the buff back again. Smoldering Frenzy is back which means I got another Feral Frenzy inside my Convoke window. So this is kind of the value that I think you're going to expect to get. Maybe every other Convoke on average is going to proc a Feral Frenzy. And you can see the damage right here. There's that Burning Frenzy dot. The uptime on it is huge if you get an additional proc of Feral Frenzy. It keeps this Burning Frenzy dot going for 10% of all the damage that you deal. So... I think this is really cool, and I think that realistically, if you wanted to do sort of a regular build where you take Brutal Slash, you don't take Thrashing Claws, you don't take Tireless Energy, I don't know how to play Feral Druid super well, so I'm taking a lot of these talents that I just kind of enjoy taking. Maybe they're a little bit more noob-friendly, but if you could instead get an extra point into Carnivorous Instinct, maybe, get a point into Circle of Life and Death. And if you know how to play Feral Druid better, I think this is just going to be a, a win for you. It's going to be an absolute win, I think. So this, I think, is one of the best tier set bonuses that I have seen so far. It definitely improves your AoE damage massively. Again, that, that burning damage, that extra 10% is insane. And it's also going to improve your single target damage and your single target kind of like functionality in a raid. So if we swap to more of a raid focus build, this is something that the guys are running currently right now in raid. On live servers, this is the current build. Again, this just really helps, I think, rotationally. Having a 30-second cooldown instead of a 45-second cooldown that builds five combo points, does a bunch of damage on its own, and allows you to use a spender right away. It's just really nice, right? So again, we would start here. 
like this. I'm going to throw my trinket out, and I'll do this, and then we'll convoke after we get this out. Okay, we're in the window. We did not get a reset on our Smoldering Frenzy. That's unlucky. But you can see the damage is great. You know, we're doing good burst damage at the front here. I don't know how this is going to look um, later on. I don't play Feral that much, so I'm not super good at it. So just kind of bear with me. But I think it just really helps you. It's really going to help you, I think, in your single target resource generation. Here comes Feral Frenzy again. It's back right now. I'm going to press it. There we go. And I get that spender right away. It's going to help with that resource generation. And I also think in AoE, it's just going to provide a crazy amount of damage. So I think it's really good. Um, we'll look at the damage on single target. There we go. Feral Frenzy is much higher. The burn damage is still there. Still doing 8% of my damage. Very respectable. So I think this is good. I, th I think it's great, actually. It's definitely above average. One of the better tier sets that I've seen so far. Let me know what you think in the comments down below about this Feral, uh, Feral Druid one. I think it's it's amazing, uh, honestly. And I think it's about time that Feral Druid got some single target support. There's so much AoE damage on Feral Druid. They don't really have a lot of support for, for um, single target damage. This is absolutely going to buff that. And potentially let us finally go back to using Convoke which is one of my favorite talents of all time. It was really, really fun to use it in Shadowlands, and I've been bummed that most people have been forced, you know, feel like you're forced to use Incarnate. Maybe we still will be. I kind of hope not. Fingers crossed that Convoke will be the new meta. Let me know what you think in the comments down below about Feral Druid. Do you think there's going to be changes to the talent tree? Are you going to use Convoke now? Are you going to change up your talents in any, any, any sort of way? Let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. I love the focus on Feral Frenzy for a tier set bonus. This one is very strong, okay? Thank you guys so much again for watching. Love you all. I will see you in the next one.